Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jeremiah with Bullfrog Air Guns here in sunny Southern California um, at Huntington Beach in Orange County visiting Joe Broncato, the air gun scientist here at uh, airtanksforsale.com. So we're going to go in and have a quick interview with Joe and a quick shop tour and see what he's got to offer here. So come on in. Okay guys, it's Jeremiah, Bullfrog Air Guns, and I'm here with Joe Broncato, and he's the air gun scientist. Uh, Joe, why don't you introduce yourself and kind of let us know where you got your name and uh, how you started. Okay, uh, hello everyone, my name is Joe Broncato, and they call me the air gun scientist, and I got that name from uh, Rossi Moriali from air, uh, American Air Gunner. I was uh, uh, on their show often. And uh, the first time I was on the show, Rossi knows that I'm an ex-physicist, ex-scientist that used to work in the uh, aerospace industry. And so uh, Rossi's got a nickname for everybody. So anyway, we were talking and uh, he goes, uh, and this is Joe Broncato, he's, he's, he's like the, the air gun scientist. And I go, <laughs> you two, that night, I said, yeah. we're putting that one down. Yeah. I said, that's a great one. Yeah. I said, that's a fantastic name. And I liked it. I thought, yeah, that's kind of cool. You know, so uh, I, I was in the field of uh, aerospace for about 25 years. Uh, had a degree in physics, loved it. But I always liked being an entrepreneur and being into air guns. And uh, I like the safety aspect of it. I have a passion for air guns and people and safety. And I kind of wanted to put it all together. And we were just making safer stuff for people with air tanks and air guns. And it just kind of snowballed. And then next thing I know, I was doing this full time. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a blessing, man. Yeah, it is. And we put on Air, American Air Gunner. Uh, we did the American Air Gunner Challenge, which was a lot of fun. Uh, if they people get to watch uh, Rossi Morialli on Air, American Air Gun, mm -hmm. great show. Um, and uh, in fact, they're coming out with a new scene. I guess I'm doing a plug for him now. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. But yeah, but uh, yeah, they're they're going to be doing a new challenge just uh, next week. Sweet. Yeah. And how long have you been in business here? In this place, uh, just a few years. Mm -hmm. uh, before that, we were at a smaller location, but the business just keeps on growing. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the original building was only like from here to there, and we fit everything in there. And then we're like, no, that's just going to be our showroom. Yeah. You know, and, and we're and we're still moving back. And so, uh, yeah, it's like the second largest showroom in the country. Yeah. yeah. It's it's uh, it's it's big. Yeah, I was very happy to find out it was here in Southern California, and you. Close to me, you know. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people, yeah, a lot of people get surprised. Like, oh, I didn't even know you're here. So, yeah, if you're in like San Diego, Los Angeles, San Bernardino, uh, Riverside, any of those counties, we're just like a half hour to an hour away. So that's yeah. kind of cool. When it's one of the biggest, you know, areas around here. So there's a lot of people that are coming by all the time and checking us out. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And I know you started off with your air tanks and with your air gauges, and that's where the name Air Tanks for Sale comes from. Do you have any plan on changing your name or incorporating the air gun into the Good name? question. Yeah, so now that we sell air guns, um, people come up to me all the time and they go, you know, I, I, I bought your air gun or air tank because it's made in America. It's the only one made in America. We really want to buy it, but I, I see you sell guns and I wish you to, I knew this before I bought my air gun. Yeah. You know, cause I'd like a one-stop shop. And you know, so I said, you know what? We got to get away from air tanks for sale. And uh, we, uh, we have a new website called Top Gun Dash Air Guns. You got to put the dash in there in between Top Gun and Air Guns. And uh, it's, it's, getting to be a nice website. We're working on it. You know, it's not perfect. Uh, the, getting the inventory levels is kind of a little difficult right now. And I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, it is because we've got a lot. Yeah. I mean, we've got, you saw, I mean, yeah. whew, we've got like just 50 hammers and 50 uh, of each caliber in the, in the uh, Texans. It's like, that adds up real fast. And oh, yeah. we try to keep, anyway. So we're working on the website, Top Gun Dash Air Guns. We also have Expert HPA, which was a, an older site but uh, we're just going to send everybody to Top Gun Air Guns now, Top Gun Dash Air Guns now. Very cool, very cool. And uh, personal question, I saw in one of your videos, I, I think it was your son, I believe he's, how old is he? Well, I have two boys, uh, Joey the third, he is 16, and Jonathan is my shooter. He's yes. 14, yes. He's the one I saw, the he's a, off yeah. the shoulder, split a card with a Springer. Yeah, 
No, it was with the Kozak. Oh, it was with the Kozak. With the Kozak, yeah. He uh, he's a heck of a little shot. That was with Rick Ream, shooter uh -huh. seventeen twenty one. Uh -huh. And you saw that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He uh, very impressed. I was very impressed with that. I was pretty impressed too. It was like 20, 25 yards. Yeah. And Rick Ream was there, and I'll give Rick total credit for this because I shoot with Jonathan a lot. But Rick Ream was just the best. He just was like, look, Johnny. And he and Johnny are like, they're they're great together. I love Rick, man. Oh, we, yeah. we have become friends. But anyway, he was just patient and he said, look, Johnny, this is how you this is how you hit a target like this. He says, you don't aim at the target, but as you're swinging by it, you time it and all that kind of stuff. And shoot, I think it only, no, it probably took him 10 shots. Okay, mm -hmm. to be fair, but I mean, he split a card at 25 yards standing up, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I'm yeah. not even gonna try. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Off Jonathan. The shoulder. Yeah. Jo yeah, 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 standing up. And Jonathan is my little, uh, he likes to kill things, he likes to shoot things, he likes to, uh, he likes cars. He's the all American boy. In mm -hmm. fact, in the back right now, I got a, a 1946 CJ2A he and I are working on, oh, which nice. is a Jeep. Nice. And uh, we're building it totally box stock. Stock. That's our father-son project. Oh, nice. And uh, we'll have that on the air one day, maybe oh. in a year or so. But uh, yeah, he is my little, he's a kick. How he old is... was he when he uh, got a gun in his hands for the first time? Joey and Johnny shot young. Um, Joey was... I'd say in the five-year-old, I, I took them with those LDs over there, and, and you can scan over there just for a second, just to let them know what the LDs are, mm -hmm. okay? Um, they were, I gave him the really long ones so that he couldn't do this, you know, oh, yeah. it's kind of like more like this, and I've got a picture of him when I think Joey was probably like five, and I guess Johnny was roughly the same age, you know, I, I keep an eye on him, yeah. keep him safe. just teach him safety. But uh, Johnny's a, yeah, he's a good little shot. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a fun little shot, man. He's a good kid to be around. They're oh, yeah. both great kids. Joey's not into guns though. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not gonna force him. I tried to get my daughters into guns because I was into powder burners a lot before, mm -hmm. and I'm just recent into the air guns mm -hmm. and so, but before I was into powder burners, and so my daughter, uh, for her fifth birthday, she got a Red Rider, you know? Mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. I was teaching her to shoot and everything else, and. Unfortunately, none of my daughters like shooting anymore. Uh, well, I'll shoot with you. Because yeah, my, yeah. I like air guns a lot. I love powder burners. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. my, I mean, 1911s are my my thing. I love 1911s. Yeah. Um, I've got a whole bunch of wheel guns or revolvers. Those are my favorite. I love revolvers and yeah, shotguns. We Shot, have. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, I don't have anything because I moved back from New Mexico and okay. out there, nothing has to be registered. Okay. And so everything was yeah. bought secondhand right. from a gun show and right. trying to get that across the border with extended <sighs> magazines and I everything know, else. I and know. It, th there was no. Welcome to California, over. brother. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, somehow we're the least restricted on the air guns, though. So, you know? Yeah, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, exactly. Shh. <laughs> Don't give them any yeah, ideas. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I was hoping it maybe open up a little bit for the hunting, you know? Yeah. But it, I, once they figure out what the power we have, it's not gonna open up for hunting. And I feel like it's gonna be I don't, yeah, direction. you know, I'm all into expanding the sports and the things that you can do, but I've never been very vocal about either big boars or hunting big stuff. I'm not against it. Mm -hmm. I wanna tell you that up front, but I don't want us to raise our heads up. Yeah. And go, exactly. hey, look, we can shoot deer, 150 yeah. pound animals with yeah. this yeah. and kill them. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, not what I want to have out there, man. Yeah, it's just exactly. like, you know what? Let's just keep us under the radar. I'm yeah. just kind of like, yeah, we don't have to, you want to go hunt, go get your, you know, six, five Creedmoor and go nail the thing. Will you please? Yeah. And, and I understand there are people that can't get guns legally. Yeah. I understand. Please mm -hmm. don't ruin it for us. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I just picked up an A5 uh, Browning the other day, an old one from 1924. Oh, cool. Which was kind of cool. That my dad had a Browning A5 mm -hmm. from '57, and he gave he, he gave that to me and a and a and an over and under fifth, from '58. And so I kind of like old guns. Yeah. I'm way into old guns. In fact, I like anything old. In fact, I love like Lugers and 1911s and my dream. Which will never come true because I can't see spending that kind of money. I'd love to get a carbine, Luger, mm. but they're like, it's not so much the money. I just can't see spending that kind of money on it. Yeah. You know, it's like, dude, 15 grand for a gun. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things I yeah. could do with 15 grand. Oh, you know, yeah. like give my kid an education. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah it's definitely. like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely something I could do better with that money. Yeah. Take care mm -hmm. of my mom who's, you know, not doing so good and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Excellent. The, I'm pretty impressed with your shop. I'm really impressed with your knowledge, and I'm super stoked and excited that I have a local shop to come. Well, get thanks for coming by. I really yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, We're, yeah, and you're welcome to come by anytime. Yeah, uh, you'll, you'll be seeing me a lot now. Yeah, I tell people stop by. We don't. The one thing that's funny is I'm not a high-pressure salesman, and I've actually had one guy think 
like, I just kind of let him walk around. And he, when he left, he said I was rude. And I, I said, why? He goes, he didn't come up to me. And I was like, I'm sorry. I thought I kind of was giving you some space there. Yeah, man. Yeah. So I, I'll kind of come up to somebody and just say, hey, do you need any help? And they'll be like, yes or no. And then that's it. I kind of back off. I'm just, I'm not like an in-your-face salesman. Everything here sells itself. Yeah. You know, I'm not explaining anything like, would you like to see this? And if they say, yeah, then I'll make, yeah, cool. Yeah. You know, I got an audience. But yeah. if not, I'm good. You know, mm -hmm. I just, you don't need to push. I don't, I'm, I don't like pushing sales, man. Absolutely. Just, just let them see it and they'll buy it. If it's good, if you carry good stuff, people buy it. Yeah. So that's why we only carry top end stuff. Yeah. Well, not only top end stuff, but stuff that I'm proud to carry. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't want to carry anything that I'm like, oh, if you walk in the door, I got to hide my face yes. and say, oh, man, you bought it and it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Well, take care. God yeah. bless and shoot yes. safe, Absolutely. man. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And remember to a lot now. What's the name of that channel? It is. Bullfrog. No, yours. Oh, mine's bullfrogairguns.com. Right. Mm -hmm. Not .com. Bullfrog Air Guns <laughs> on YouTube. And I'm Air Gun Scientist mm -hmm. on YouTube.